what is going on guys welcome back to the channel let's talk about a few trades that i'm going to be watching for the next say week to a month somewhere in that range so i'm going to throw out three tickers once you guys have a plan with this one they're not diamond hands um they may work out they may not but let's look at them and let's look at them briefly just to see what we're watching satx satx that's my one that I'm watching right now for potential, I, I don't know, maybe maybe 50 to 90% upside. Kind of like this bullish triangle that it's forming out right now. Has my interest. It's made a decent stride as far as Thursday and Friday. It kind of just flattened out trying to decide what direction it wants to go from here. Um, setup looks a little bit bullish, but I mean, it doesn't mean that it has to be. So I would watch to see how this triangle forms out, you know, draw, draw up your triangle, see how we're playing into this flat top, see if it wants to make that flat top setup. Um, right now sitting at $7.77, you know, it could have a little bit more of a pullback before it makes that breakout up here at the flat top, or this could be the one that flat tops at out and breaks to the upside or the downside so we're going to be watching that one closely play it with tight stops wait for your entries um sitting to 777 i think i have a decent support here at 764 to about 727 so keep it tight um you can always re-enter if you still like it and it's you know going against you but Ultimately, I'd like to see if it can work its way back up to, say, that 16, 14 to $16 range. I don't know if it'll get there or not, but we got our channels. So what I'm watching to the upside is pretty much where it's sitting right now up to about $9, nine and a quarter. From nine and a quarter, we'd be watching it up to about eleven seventy-five range. See how it does it, 12 bucks, and then go from there. So sat X about a four day watch if it wants to move if not you know just take your money or move on or however you feel about it. SONX this would be the other one that I'm watching it's had a pretty solid run so what I'm really thinking is more possibly to the downside catch this one whenever it tops out and potentially short or play it back to the downside. Um, I, I do think it could run back up into the three dollar range, three and a quarter range. Um, so there might be some upside left in this one. I just don't know. We got our gaps that are probably going to want to fill in at some point, whether they do that right away. So it could be possible better entries if we get that pullback back to around two dollars and fifty cents. Or um, could be a good play back down to the downside for that. Um, keep an eye on it. The RSIs look a little bit hot to me, so I think we could probably fill to the downside sooner than we just continue to push to the upside on that one. Um, might be a back and forth play. You might be able to catch it to the downside, then get a better entry and run it back up. So we're watching that one and ACUT watching this one. This one's going to be a little bit longer play, probably in your three to four week range. Going to be one of those slower movers that are probably more boring to a lot of you guys. You, you know, it's uh, it's not going to be high action in my opinion, um, but might get some decent moves. So right now, again, we're trying to flat top out right up here. Looks like a bullish triangle. So I would think that potentially there could be a little bit of playing around in here as it flat tops out and gains its strength so it might be a little bit better entries along the way if you're patient dollar 35 is where it's sitting right now i'd be watching it very closely somewhere around the dollar 18 to dollar 20 cent range watch how it responds at a buck 40 a buck 50 and then somewhere up here in the 175 to 190 range is what I would be watching on that one. Uh, again, I do think there might be some better entries. I don't know. You just want to watch it, be patient, and have a trading plan. Again, none of these are diamond hands. I don't know how they're going to react. I don't know how the markets are going to open up coming into 2023. Are we going to get some sort of false sense of hope and the markets push, or are they going to really hurt us coming right out the gates? We're going to have to find out, so it's a little difficult to make some of these calls right now. But those are the three that have my attention. SATX probably top of my list right now. SONX 
again that's going to be a little bit of a longer play so there might be several trades in there along the uh, along the road um probably two to four weeks and then acut this one that we have pulled up right now how it's going to go um the sat x1 i guess i'm a little interested because it finally consolidated through this trend line here and is starting to make its push back to the upside which gives me a little bit of confidence that maybe there is an upside play here but uh that's top of the list but i i don't know we want to see how this bullish triangle and flat top forms out and if it wants to push and move from there but you know if if you're playing smart just 10 percent of your account or whatever you're comfortable with to be able to throw out against these type of things and just see if they work and if they don't cut them cut them quick have a stop loss have a trading plan 5 10 20 percent down and you know say say yeah i'll make it up on the next one don't don't hold these to the bitter end by any means but if i pull this up you know on the 30 it looks pretty good how's it look on the five the five it's even getting tighter and tighter so i do think that the decision's probably going to come sooner than later on satx you know it's one of those that you won't have to sit in for quite a while hoping to see what happens i, I do think within two to four days you're probably going to either see if you made your money or you didn't make your money and um i do think tomorrow morning roughly is probably going to make its decision out of here whether it's breaking to the upside or to the downside so those are the three that i'm on right now satx sonx and acut thank you guys for coming back i hope you have a good day in the markets and we will catch you in the next one as always stay golden people and may your accounts stay green